Hello everybody, and Happy New Year. This is BeastCat100, here, starting off the new year, with the sequel to an old series. This is The Legend of Zelda, The Phantom Hourglass. A direct sequel to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, which I did a whole long time ago on the channel. I do not suggest you watch it unless you want to see the old style of the old method of recording. But maybe, you know, between now and then you can see how the growth. Whatever. Like I said, is a direct sequel to a series that I did long ago. That's right. This year we're gonna be starting off doing the Toon Link era of the Zelda timeline. Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. That's right. And because this is a direct sequel, don't mind me, that's a, that one is from a long time ago. <laughs> that file is from a long time ago, and we're going to erase that. That's the, that's the full file, let's not, let's not worry about that. Because this was from a long time ago, this is going to be the same character. The file is going to be named Beastcat, and I'm going to call out that this is going to be a 99% run. Why don't I say 100%? It's because I don't... I, I got into this a little bit to make sure that I knew what I was doing, but I didn't get far. So, I'm going to... Well, you'll see, but it's going to be at least a 99% run of this game. With all that out of the way... Let's get started, shall we? Hold it in my right hand. Unfortunately. Our story begins not long ago. There was a young girl, savvy to the seas and head of bad pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. One day, on a stop on, at an island, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. After a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. They found old ruins and light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Her lineage traced back to an ancient ruined kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Just then, a huge, ominous king appeared. He carried Princess Zelda away. King sought the sacred power passed down to Hyrulean princesses. He schemed to take the power and use it for himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Later, the two set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. Yeah. 
So, what do you think of my amazing paper cutout? Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, Beast Cat, are you sleeping, Swabby? Beast Cat! Beast Cat! Or is that Tetra talking? I, I don't know. Yeah, that might be Tetra talking. Stop messing around down there. You're both supposed to be on lookout. <laughs> Some legendary hero you are. We believe you saved me from an evil king. Princess Zelda, we're nearly at that spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. Tetra worked just fine before, you know. But enough about that. This is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all the ships that have gone missing? I saw the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. It's all because of that scary ghost ship. G ghosts Hey Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about the spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet just some pirates that's no good. I expose them as a bunch of frauds. A reminder that there are rules to being pirates. I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyway. Hey, look! The air feels chilly, eerie, eerie even. I say we take a detour around this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to s see the world, not take detours. Ship boy! Tetra, I can see a ship. Yeah, ship up ahead. It's the ghost ship. The dwarves really are cursed. And you call yourself a pirate? It's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship. There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Scat, save me. Scat. Save me, be scat. You, you're awake. You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. I'm Celia. I'm Celia. You see, I'm a fairy. I was not fluttering 
around here and found you here. What happens? Ghost ship? Your friend was taken away from the ghost ship? So you were following after her. And you got separated from you in a ship, huh? Is, that, is this the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say it's those it's never, it takes you're never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. It's very sweet, so you got nothing to worry about. Crash is up there, off the beach. Come on. Oh, can you walk? Tap the direction you want. Yeah, I didn't. Mean, okay. All right. Here we are. Sila is our, is our little stylus, our little direction place. This is all done on the touch screen. Um. We have no sword, no shield, which makes sense because that sword was kind of thrusted into Ganon, Ganondorf back at the, uh, under uh, the temple and all that. Though I don't know what happened to our shield. Well, let's just chalk it up to Link lost it. So there is something I want to do first one two three four five six seven okay that's all i need so how i'm going to play this game is that i'm going to go through each area just kind of individually and by myself by myself and um if You know, at the end of each section, I'm just going to check a guide to make sure that I get everything. That, that's how I'm going to play this, just so I'm not looking at guide at the entire time. Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap, tap on people to speak with them. Try tapping on other things, like science barrels. Or cuckoos. Don't attack the cuckoo. Never attack the cuckoo! I heard that the ghost ship is on the prowl again, sealing more islanders. So very dangerous. Uh, uh, uh. Yay, one rupee. Yay, I'm poor again. Okay, fine. Go talk to your grandfather. But first, I'm going to destroy everything you own just to get money from it. Oh good, another one. Let's have to replace all these pots and barrels again. Ah, hello, traveler. So your name is Beastcat. I am Oceus, and I live on this island. Sila told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. But Grandpa, what are you saying? Beastcat's friend was carried away. Your evil fills the stairs of the ghost ship, roams the seas in search of victims to capture. No one has ever escaped from it. Best if you stay, stay far away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? 
Young people. There's a port to the east of here. Sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. He'll, he'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look at your map. The harbor is here. You mean that guy who came to visit Grandpa? He's, he's asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. I'll go with Beast Cat and show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yes, I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help Beast Cat. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Beast Cat. She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Beast Cat. Lately, there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck. But you be careful out there. Port to the east, huh? Give me more money, old man. Need as much money as possible. No, my rupee. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake? So many quakes lately. There's so many monsters. Bad signs are sure, and I bet there are even worse things to come. Yes, more rupees. I use this cave as a storehouse. Keep your hands off my things, please ask first. Damn it. I thought I could get the sword early. Nope, we gotta go the game's way. Oh. oh heavens, that quake just broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately, and the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to get to town, fortunately. Fortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Breaking your stuff, old man. Game, if you want to give me single rupees, that's fine. I will break every pot that spawns every time I go in and out of an area. I will do it. So that earthquake lip broke the bridge, did it? Ah, unfortunate. There's another way to the port, but it's far too dangerous. Now, wait for someone to rebuild the bridge. That's the only safe course. Don't even think about braving the path to the north. Uh, fuck you. That the entire episode won't be. Oh. Anyway, I just had a bad bit of bad luck with my garden here. Quick, just heaved a bunch of rocks in the middle of my patch. Do you mind moving them? Just gonna tap a rock and tap, tap and throw, tap and throw, tap and throw. Thanks for plenty. You really helped me out there. Not much, but here's something for your trouble. Please, I insist. A uh, single rupee. It's a dirty look. She think I'm a cheapskate? Fine. Here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a tree on that sp on that spot on that spot. Go bash it really hard.
So if you if you press down on the D-pad, it'll bring the map down and you can draw on the map. And that's going to be super useful in this game. Monsters, look out, Beast Cat! Way too dangerous, you need something to defend yourself with. We have to go back. Okay. I did the thing. What I was going to say is, I promise that not all of the series is going to be going to be me going around breaking everything over and over again. Just for the beginning of the game, it's it's good to have some extra rupees on hand. Please finally get the. S what? I need to talk to Oceans again. <laughs> Tried to path to the north, did you? Sealant, don't pretend you forgot. I told you never go to go that way. You've seen so many quakes out of the island lately, Beast Cat. Monsters have been seen closer and closer to the town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up north leads to the port, it's true. The path will always be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Eventually. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. Do what I want. I'm the hero. I'm the hero of winds, damn it. Grandpa wants to say out trouble. We need to find your friend. If you only can find a sword, then you can show those monsters. Gee, it's almost like I've been trying to get that sword the entire time. I can't remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now, how to get this door open? I remember he cracks open the door by running a number on that sign. Since the number of palm trees on the beach, sneaky. Shut up, Ocious. That's why I counted. Using the sword, basics number one. Use the stylus to swing your sword. Tapping and drawing lines quickly is the key to deft sword play. I got Osha's a sword! Mine now. You found a sword! Ooh, we shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd worry himself sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from those monsters. Well, we can attack the monsters. Tapping an enemy will do, like, a jump... Flicking in the direction will do us, um, like a poke. And on the side is 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 the slash, and then circle around is the spin attack. But don't don't spin attack too much in a short amount of time. Otherwise, you're going to get dizzy and leave yourself defenseless. Same thing with rolling. You go to the edge of the of the screen, draw little circles. And if you roll too much, then you'll also get dizzy. Whoops. But you're proving to be quite a handful. Is that my sword? What do you plan on doing with that? Perhaps I'm sorry. Well, we just had to. We can't, have, we can't abandon this kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't just let you go. Not without showing you how to handle that sword. Show you how to handle it. Meet me at the house, Peace Cat. Oh, but no, I know how to. Hey, Beast Cat, where are you going? I think I show. Does anyone how to handle a sword? I know how to handle a sword. Yeah. All right. Beast Cat, <laughs> so I have a sword. Then know that even best the best swords can be bad. 
mishandled, that is. So I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let's begin with the targeted attack. I'm going to bring out some targets for sword practice. Far safer than real foes. Tap a lot. Tap a target. And do the thing. Slate, the target attack is the most basic of attacks. Use it well. Now for the side slash. When you find it hard to lock on enemies, use the side slash instead. Sketch a line that divides you and your target and slash at it. Requires a, requires a little practice. Looks like you fully understand it. You can also use the, it to slash several things at once. Remember it well. Finally, we have the spin attack. Slide the stylish in a circle to, around yourself to spin. Spin attack. Superb, I can teach you nothing more. Now you must swim on your own as you venture out among the monsters. If you have any problems, return here and speak with me. Ah, blue rupee. So for the basics, green, green rupees are worth one, blue rupees are worth five, red rupees are worth 20, and purple rupees are worth 50, I think. I think. And then there's big, I, and then there's silver rupees, which are worth a hundred. I think. Alright. So, now that we've gotten the sword, and we can go out on our own. Oh! That's cool. Obtain a weapon. Okay. Ah, okay. So we can use the sword to cut grass and like so apparently while standly standing idly by for a while link will turn his head and also sila will um will float over objects of interest so it's good to it's good to be on the lookout for those Okay, you just say the same thing. You're boring. Yes, give me money. And just because I'm sure everyone is going to want to see it. Yes, that is what happens when you when you attack a cuckoo. And now we're off on our adventure. You can at least the bigger trees you can roll into and sometimes they'll drop stuff down. You can cut down these smaller trees. Though for what purpose I have no idea. Boing boing! Want to do some somersaults? Scribble tiny circles at the very edges of your screen. Roll into that big tr there tree there and do what did. Yeah. yeah. Basically exactly what I was saying. Hey, red rupee. Worth 20 rupees. We're almost at 100. Get you the red shoe there. Okay. Yeah. 
So we have our first obstacle here. We have a locked door. Can't get through the locked door. But we have a chest, which will give a small key. You can only use a small key once, and it's usually in the area where you were in. In fact, I think with the newer games, that is precisely the case. We have a little bit of a puzzle here. Tap a block to grab it. Tap the arrows to move it. Pull the four levers in the correct order, or else. Or else snakes will come and rain down upon you. These are, I believe, keys? Or just bats. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that they're just keys. Yeah, they're keys. They resemble bats, but they're actually just keys. Red rupee. I'm pulling the levers. Second is first on the left. So that's second. Last is second from the right. Second from the right to four. And you can do process of elimination if you want. Pulling for levers, I wonder where those might go. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, I bet the safe will get- Yeah, I wrote it. I, I, I know, I know. Way ahead of you there, Sila. Damn, they haven't perfected that yet. You have to keep tapping on the block if you want to pull it multiple times. Uh, first is second from the left. That's one. Oh, and then, then there's that. So, one, two, three. And four. Get a small key. What a puzzle. So if you pull it, if you pull um, it in the wrong order, there'll be snakes that drop down and they're called ropes. Purple snake. And now comes a really, really annoying section here. So I'm trying to think how to do this. Right, 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 okay, now I don't remember. So that mouse with the key is going to run back and forth between the two holes, and when it sees you, it, it'll scatter into the other direction. So what you need to do is that you need to pull that out, wait for the rat to go over to the other side. I remember having immense trouble with this when I was practicing. and. You get the picture. And I actually had to look up how to do this. Got a small key and a heart. Two for one special. Alright. Got a couple more keys here. A little bit more money. Mm. 
Any more? Eh. More wanna mess with me? No? Good. And now we're on the other side. We made it to the port. It's so much farther to walk when the bridges are up. Now that we're here, let's look up Lineback. I've met him once or twice. I can't say I care for him. It's awful big talk for such a big cuckoo. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the port. Uh, I didn't know that was an insult. I like that. I might start using that. You're just a cucko. Let's hope that the meaning is not misconstrued. Welcome to Merke Island's port. You never really s you normally see sailors coming and going. Rumors say it that the ghost ship have returned have all but shut down our harbor. It's for one brave soul who recently docked his ship, that is. Brave, right. <laughs> Get it. Can't wait to sit down at the milk bar and go up down a glass. Just a bit tired. I'm gonna wait here for a spell and take a breather. Why isn't everyone in such a darn rush? Take a break now, then I say. Milk is alcohol. In this game. Eh? Looking for the ghost ship, you say? Don't mean to take the wind out of your sails, but stay away from that ship. Or we'll become obsessed with that ship or soon ruined by it. That ship has pirated the life from many a soul, but some of us still remain. Oh, knock on wood. Don't hit the bird. Actually, I wonder. Hey. Hey, you. Come with me. I mean, yeah, it works. If I can get it at the right angle. I hear another cargo. Treasure teller, opening soon. Sweet. Grab the chicken. There we go. Thank you, chicken. You got a pearl necklace. This stunning pearl necklace that it'll yeah. We got our first treasure. Pure white pearls strung together into a stunning necklace. Collect as many of these as you can. Excuse me as I just cut the grass and look for more rupees here. Alright. What's over here? Heard of the fortune teller Astrid? Nope. I've heard that Astrid lives on the Isle of Ember. The ghost ship, uh, all those who vanished, she said she, uh, she saw it all in advance, it said. I bet she'd know what it'd take for me to find a girlfriend, yeah. I'm sure. No, all the grass is back, darn it. Shipyard, be right back. Look at look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? Oh, just look at her. What a ship. A, such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her. Oh, if she only she were mine. It belongs to the sea captain of what goes by the name of Linebeck. Fearless soul I hear. He's 
Seen the world, yet never seen defeat. What? You're searching for Linebeck? Captain usually drops an anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Linebeck vanished to. Oh, shoot. I actually meant to go in there, because now I'm going to miss another dialogue. Shoot. New customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drift in here while to while away the hours. Bit empty at the moment. But you a tad short be in here. Take no offense, sir. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone a little farther in life. Looking for Linebeck? Sure, I know him. And that chair there knew him recently. Linebeck just dashed out, saying he was off to the Temple of the Ocean King. Not to stop that crazy fellow, but off he went to the north side of our isle. Did my ears hear that right? He went to the Temple of the Ocean King. Listen up, youngin. Listen good. The Ocean King is defender of all creation. And that temple up on the hill was built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid upon the place that sucks the soul from all who enter. None dare step into the Temple of the Ocean King, so might put it out of your mind. And say where your friend's gone, but I'll tell you this. Stay out of there. Yes, yeah, steer clear. That's what we all do. But the odd visitor now and then can't resist it. What? Where is it? Well, right here on the map. You're not actually going there, are you? Yes, I am, and I'm taking your barrel with me. Alright. Let's see in here. It's a shop! Welcome, shopper. How can I help you? Alright. First, I need the shield. It's a wooden shield. It protects you from light attacks. Just 80 rupees. Yay, got the shield. Can I get you anything else? A red potion. It's yours for 50 rupees. Uh, sure. Might as well. Wouldn't hurt. Off we go to the Temple of the Ocean King. More red shoes. I give five rupees. Thank you, sir. Not today. That bird will steal your money and do damage at the same time. Come on. Well, we're at the we're at the spot where the the cheapskate told us about. Big green rupee. Got a big green rupee, it's worth a hundred rupees. Well, wow, that, that was worth it. Thank you, sir. And five more rupees. Just for good measure. Oh God, we need bombs, we need bombs ASAP. So this, so this is the Temple of the Ocean King. I was surprised that the, the temple was built to honor the mighty Ocean King. But the temple's fallen into ruin and people... People say... Okay. It ruins any who enter. So we have to find Lineback. So let's dive right in though. Uh, actually I think we'll do that next time. So I, th I think this is a good place to, to end it off here. 
So in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we're going to be heading into the Temple of the Ocean King. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys 